I'll get this sign. Yeah. Yeah, you good. Y'all go ahead and bring it. Oh, what you got there? What you got, man? A little notebook. What you got on that? Windows 7? It's a joke, man. It ain't no joke, man. Let me read the scripture before you read that, man. You ain't got no Linux, no, son? What kind of computer is that? Oh, uh, Acer? Oh, is that the one Dad gave you? Oh, you missing some buttons. Oh, fuck. What am I that many copies, Bill? They see the tanks and zombies and gangs of niggas, gangs of bikers and niggas coming in two different groups from the race of populace. You know what I'm saying? Hey, there's all kind of bikers. You, you see that, uh, man, them bikers, man, they. I saw a, a gang of them on the highway, man. They looked like they was up to, you know, business was on their mind. And not no going to get drunk and just play. Business was on these They some crazy people. motherfuckers, man. man. You don't, yeah, you don't fuck with them bikers, man. That's just like fucking with like the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the old school folks. Yeah, when I, when I grew up around bikers, when I was real little, my mom was a crazy alcoholic. She used to party with those bikers. They have goddamn 20 bikes up in the front yard. Damn. <laughs> Even the Harleys, too. Not none of them Japanese shits. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? They were some crazy motherfuckers, man. Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, here you go. Um, this is uh, this is Luke 21 and uh, hmm. started... Uh, That's the spirit. I was just reading that earlier yeah, today. Yeah. Damn, look at you that. crate. That, look, oh, my God. <laughs> Oh my goodness. But we got homosexuals out here. No. 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 <laughs> look at those good old boys right there. You see them? Good old boys. They look like the goddamn Dukes of Hazard. <laughs> Luke 21 and 10. Then said he unto them, nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and great earthquakes shall be in diverse places in famines and pestilence. Pestilences, that goes into that Ebola virus. You know, we've been having earthquakes. You see what happened to Japan. Everybody forgot about Fukushima. Woo. Motherfucking Fukushima is still leaking radiation Never to saw. this day. Mm. Well, for four years straight, Fukushima been leaking goddamn radiation into the ocean mm. Mm. and into the atmosphere. You see where they showed the, um, you know, the water have an uh, 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 ocean current that the water goes the same direction. Yeah, the current. It just—it's like a world. Yeah, it's like a, a a conveyor belt. Right, conveyor belt. That's even better than what I was. Yeah. That the radiation coming from Fukushima, Japan, is tearing California up. Mm. You know, tearing it up, man. Killing all kind of fish and wildlife. Yeah, it's fucking got, us up, making us sick. You got the fish. They the whales and killer whales. You got them jumping off the. Hey, bro. Hey, will you hold this? I'm gonna get these signs out. Be careful. Don't t touch that battery. Well, it's just fucked up. Beach. On the beach, it's number of fish and whales, and, you know. Hello. Hold this one, please. That Ebola virus is gonna start fucking y'all up. You know, you know about the Ebola virus? No, y'all ass don't. <laughs> He had a man too. I, right I thought it was a man. I don't know. You don't know about half these bitches are dudes. You're right. You never know. Yeah. See, you gotta be careful. You can't be quick to be like, oh, that bitch is fine as a motherfucker. You gotta wait till she get up close before you make that call. Yeah, and, then, <laughs> and then before you stick so you your dick in it, you better, the, you better do the finger test. <laughs> before you stick your dick up in that bitch. Oh, yeah. You better do a reach test. You better do a reach around. You know what I'm saying? For real. <laughs> And when you do speak, hey, hey, and, hey, hey, another thing, don't be offended by the bitches, man. If they see you smelling your hand, man, you're trying to look out for your shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Don't be, bro, you know, why are you smelling your hand? Oh, because look, why are we talking about that? Because we already got the, he's talking about those pestilences in Luke 21. The Ebola virus, that's a big pestilence. But there's been pestilences out this motherfucker. Right. AIDS, herpes, gonorrhea. Mm. Look, over 110 million Americans got STDs. That's half the damn country. You know what? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. This is just like a few days ago, the CDC put another report on the internet. You know, 
that yeah. this is it verified. It this. increased. And that's the only oh, verified. Well, yeah, it's not only the reported cases. Mm -hmm. So it's way more. Than that. So what are you gonna do when you mix some Ebola with some motherfucking AIDS and gonorrhea? Woo! That's a deadly mix. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because half y'all people in America are already infected with some shit. So you can get Ebola by fucking. I heard. Well, yeah, they say they say Ebola stays alive in your sperm for like up, uh, 90 days. So you could like get Ebola, be cured of it, but it'll still be alive in your sperm, and you could still you could become a vector, a carrier. You know what I'm saying? You might not have it. But you can still pass it. See, I didn't hear it was airborne. I heard it, it, it came air. through like skin and all that. Yeah, well, CDC said it mutated. The drug, the, they, if they say it mutated this early, that means they fucking already worked it out to make it airborne. Oh. You know? You ever seen a person taking uh that has asthma? They take a uh, inhaler? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Well, that's that's like, taking it in, you know, through your nostrils. That's airborne. But okay. like, yeah, if you breathing on someone, you're going to catch that shit. Yep. That shit already in Columbus, so. Yeah, cause they, they had the bitch up at, uh, down in Texas. Uh, she, she was geared up. She was geared up head to toe. She still caught a bowl. And her ass is in Africa right now. Is that the black lady? Uh, there's several. There's a black lady that was like, She, she came to Texas. Black she was a nurse. She went, no, the black one came to Kent up in Cleveland. Right, 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 right. You know? That's some crazy shit, man. Well, it ain't crazy. That one down in Texas, she like Oriental or Chinese or Vietnamese or something. Her ass got a bolo. They got a bolo. So then you say, you got an article? Uh, read that, read that here. scripture real quick. Yeah, so then we're going to bring that article up. Okay. In great earthquakes shall be in diverse places, in famines, in famine. pestilence. So y'all ain't got hit with that famine yet. Y'all know there was a drought in California this year. They had record low crops. California is like one of the breadbaskets of America. But so, see, people think all this food just magically appears. They don't realize that shit has to get grown by a farmer. Do you know any farmers? I don't know no farmers. I don't know where a farmer is. I don't, yeah, you don't even know where the food comes from. So they're going to be famines. They're they, they going to cut off the EBT. Ain't going to be no more EBTs. And there's going to be a famine. Y'all going to starve and y'all going to eat each other. I'll keep going. Famines and pestilences and fearful sights. Fearful, that's a fearful sight. Like he was talking about when the bikers and all these gangs, they start getting let loose. And you already got people rebelling against the government, like down in Ferguson. They starting to shoot at the cops. There's a motherfucker that, that was shot up the cop station up in uh, Seattle or Washington somewhere. Wow. So you're going to have the cops that's going to get shot at. The cops, they're going to lay down their badges. They're going to run for the hills. It's going to be anarchy. Mm -hmm. You see that Congress bitch that, uh, from Missouri saying, uh, telling the, 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 the armed forces to rise up against the bombs. Oh, yeah, you got Marines. Yeah, they're ready to go fight against the government. They already did that down in the Bundy Ranch. We're in a Clive Bundy, that big faggot. Uh, you got more to that? Keep yeah, that was, a, that was a bunch of uh, veterans. Yeah, mostly, they said mostly Marines. Yeah. That's what you can stick together after they move the armed forces. I was in the Marines. I know all about that. The Marines is, they crazy. Hey, you heard of the Dan Page's story? You know who Dan Page is? I don't think so. Maybe I do. I Dan Page, know. he was an army sergeant in the uh, military. He was, he was a commander of like Green Berets and Army Rangers. And he was explaining at some little local church on how uh, that by the year 2002, uh, 20, uh, 2015 that it's gonna be separated in three regions. The world gonna be separated in like three, four, five regions. Yeah. Or so he he or say he's, yeah, he said it's gonna be Canada, Mexico, and uh, America combined. That's the North American Union. Yeah, 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 yeah. They already got uh, the America set up into, is it 10? Yeah, 10. They got a ten, separated ten, to 10. 10 FEMA right. regions. 10 FEMA regions, right. right. Yeah. I, I don't even know, I forgot what FEMA region we in. You gotta, oh. look, you gotta look him up though. He got fired after he said some shit like that. He got fired. Uh, yeah, they, 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 you got all kind of military uh, people coming out against the government. Right, right, right. People in the military and out the military. They, you ever listen to Alex Jones? Yeah. They be on Alex. I think he full of shit though. Well, I think he full of shit. I think, he, I think he just saying that shit just to cover up. Well, he getting money. I think he working for the government. I don't know. I, I, I think he's just a money-grubbing fat bastard. 
Well, they worked for the government. I don't know. I got proof. Yeah, Alex brings out some useful info. Because he get a lot of good guests on there. He does, but at the same time, you got to look at it. You got to look at it. But he ain't a subliminal a, message behind that, though. Like, why the fuck know, he doing yeah, that yeah, shit? Right, he, ain't, right, right. he ain't our leader or nothing. Yeah, but he I'm, might. But yeah, I'm going to listen to Alex to Jones to before I listen to CNN. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because yeah. Alex Jones is talking about telling you uh, that Ebola is airborne. He's telling you the government is the ones who are pushing the To me, he's out like there. a Jesse Ventura to me. But, well, yeah, he started Jesse. Yeah. Did he? he helped start Jesse, yeah. But he's, yeah, he's the one that so-called woke Jesse up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so-called woke Jesse. <laughs> but Jesse Ventura's an atheist. He's a, so he's a piece Fuck. of shit. The Lord gonna destroy him. <laughs> what the fuck is that? God damn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's get back to that script. Never fucking ending. Never fucking ending. Uh, and pestilence and fearful sights and great signs shall there be from heaven. Shall there be from heaven. Yeah, sign. Oh, you got all kind of sightings of UFOs every day. You know what I'm What's saying? What's a UFO to you? That's the cherry to the most high. Plus, not only that, but that. Plus, you got the other signs. The blood moons and all this crazy shit. Yeah, the second the one just came around uh, earlier this month. Oh. Yeah, because you know the book of Genesis tell you to uh, use the stars and the moons for signs and for seasons. That's the spirit of the how, 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 right here. How was the pyramids created, though? I, I can't try we to tell you. We created them under was, slavery, just like we under slavery right now. Yeah. They, they talking about it was like too mathematical or whatever for uh, uh, humans to create. They said they got to be some help from the aliens. Don't you know Israel, Israel had that God you know, knowledge, that wisdom from the most high. What is that? You know? The Ebola virus. But what is the symbolism of the board? There ain't no symbolism of nothing. It was just a symbolism. Yeah, that's takes on all the gods of ancient Babylon. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And they and they make them current. See, even the ancient they Babylonians current. built uh, pyramids. Right. They call them ziggurats. You know what I'm saying? This is this is too. Well. Maybe what happened to them? They got this food. And that was yeah, they, 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 Israelites. Yeah. What happened to them too? For being wicked, for doing wicked shit, going after them gods. And another thing that was the other day they had on, uh, on what the What about Turks, man? Say what? Uh, Turks. Turks? Turks? Yeah, I'm a Turk. I'm a Turk. You don't look like a Turk. Who do I look like? Uh, Cause you got a lot of, you got a lot of our people scattered in Turkey. But uh, an actual Turk, like an Ottoman Turk is an Edomite, a devil. A devil. You, you're not a Turk. But you're not a Turk. I can tell by your spirit. Right. But, I don't know man, I, like I was born in Turkey. Right, uh, but that still don't make you a Turk. Yeah. Cause uh, you got, cause the Israelites like, uh, you got, what, well, the Church of Ephesus is in Turk, Turk. You know yeah. what I mean? So you, the, you had early Christian churches going back 2,000 years in Turkey. Because uh, like Constantinople was in Turkey until the Muslims came and conquered it. So when you, all the Muslims were actually Edomites and Turks, they come out of uh, like the Caucasus region. They came down and they conquered Constantinople. And then they mixed in, raped the women, and they, and they mixed in with the Israelites who was living over there. Right. So that's why you got a lot of Israelites still living in Tur Turkey to this day. Not even knowing who the real Turks are. You know? Right, because they're a bunch of a nation of devils. The real Turks are white people, mm -hmm. uh, Edomites. They're related to the uh, to Genghis Khan. They're related to the Jews over there in Israel. They're, they're, they're the same people. You know what I'm saying? So, then who I am? I don't know who I am. Well, well you're an Israelite. I can tell by the spirit. Nobody knows who they are. What, See, what's the Israelite? Rome, what's the Israelite? Get Romans eight fourteen real quick. Those are people who are well. And we're gonna, we're gonna get on this Ebola thing. Those uh, Jews you see in Israel right now are not the real Jews. Well, what you from Turkey, everybody over there hates them goddamn Jews. I know they do, don't they? Well, you I mean, um, <laughs> most people, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, read this scripture though. This is Romans 8 and 14. Now, now this is how we can tell who our brothers are, okay? For as many as are led by the Spirit of the Most High, they are the sons of the Most High. You believe in God? Yeah. I keep going. Um, for ye have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but ye have received the spirit of adoption whereby we cry, Abba, Father, the spirit itself. Now this is the spirit itself. This is how I know you're an Israelite. The, the spirit itself bear witness with our spirit. With our spirit. That we are the children of God. Who, who are the children of God? Is the nation of Israel. The one, they, the, one, the one they call Jesus Christ 
He came to save the Israelites. That's who he came to save. He didn't come to save the Edomites or the Hamites or the Ishmaelites. He came to save Israel. And Israel was scattered among all the nations. That's a great confusion. Yeah, that's a great a confusion of faith. <laughs> it's a confusion of faces. So well, I'm say, all I'm saying is, um, this is not a racial thing, is it? Is it? Well, it's not a it's not a color thing. Put it that way. But yeah. it is a racial, but it's not a color thing. It's not a fleshly thing. Okay, it's not a fleshly thing. It's a right. spiritual thing. Or spiritual, but it is a race though, because Israel. See, the word race go back to the Hebrew word head. So we are races. Because Israel, we saying that Israel is the chosen people. When you say Israel is the chosen, you automatically saying you're a racist. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. So we're racist as can be. But when you hell, back, the scriptures back it up that <laughs> you, you know the, the Most High is a racist. He's a you know he only chooses his people, which but, I'm gonna get you. That's but it's not in the, the the popular use of the word racist. Right. We're not we're not prejudiced. We don't judge people on appearance. So all I'm saying is, if a person's Edomite, you're saying. And accepts Jesus in his life. Well, it's, not possible. Possible. That is, it's, not possible. it's not possible. That means he's not an Edomite. Is it something? Right. It's not possible. Hey, hey. Uh, but, uh, did you say I thought y'all said. That, I thought y'all said. Say like, let's say a person they, grows they, they up in whites. India, right? Yeah. The, the, the white man. Hinduism. Esau is and a he, white he man. He started as Irish, right? Yeah, but not all white became So he had to serve the Lord. No, he's well. He could be. What? He could be a descendant of the Moors. Because oh. Moors are all up in that area, you know. Right. But, yeah, the, but the Moors, don't don't you say Moors, Israelites. Moors just mean brown. Yeah. Oh, the, okay. the Moors were Israelites. Like a Moreno. Just like just like the nation of Islam, mm -hmm. that would be the Moors back in the day. Yeah. The nation of Islam. Farrakhan and his goons. Ooh, yeah. yeah, you know? Right. But you okay. see, even the Moors, a lot of them, they had all Israelite names. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Right, uh, right. Yosef. Uh, so so, so no Israelites can be yeah. saved whatsoever. No. Not even one. The Israel scattered I'm, everywhere, bro. I, I'm, no, I'm never saying, read Obadiah 1 and 18. Oh, Esau is going to be totally destroyed. Oh, so, totally. He's going into slavery. Jews in Israel is not Israelites. No, these are devils. They're Edomites. Just like this scripture right here says, it says, I know that works in tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not. That's a Bible scripture he's reading. I says, I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. So them Jews over there, they, they're usurpers. They're liars, they're thieves, they're swindlers. Identity thieves. The identity thieves. <laughs> you know, everybody wants to be a nigga. <laughs> <laughs> they can't you, know, like, you see Michael Jordan the way he played basketball, you want to do that same thing. You see how Mike, you see how Mayweather knocking everybody out? You want to do the same thing? Hey, you ever see a Jew in a boxing ring? I don't like Mayweather. I like. I don't Mike like Tyson. Mayweather either. My Mike Tyson, my guy. That was my man. Yeah, Mike Tyson, though, yeah. yeah he Mike, was a beast. Mike Tyson punched out on the table. I love the fact that he was like shorter than any other opponent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But he yeah. knocked. He knocked the ass. He was not. He was knocking dudes out six, four, six, five, six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was. He was. I, mean, I stood next to him. He was like. He was like five ten. He's probably about your height. About my height. He's like your height. He, he knocked your ass out in the first round. <laughs> hey, he like to see Jewish circumcision, but a lot of people don't have choice in the United States. They're, when they're born, they just get circumcised. Oh, we know that. You know, well, the Bible says we are to get circumcised, but the okay, thing is, is, the rabbi is sucking the baby penis. But oh. the, ra the rabbi sucked the blood out of the penis with their mouth. <laughs> That's weird, man. Yeah, you can see the pictures, don't you? Look, you can see. You it. can see we ain't making it up. There's the baby. You can see we ain't making it up. Suck the baby cock. He's sucking the baby. You wanna suck a baby's dick? That no fuck. <laughs> That's what the rabbis do. Hey, why you think the Bible says they say they are Jews and are not Jew? A real Jew ain't gonna go. A real Israelite. So you saying those are Canaanites? Canaanites. Who? No. Those Jews. No, Can Canaanites. Some oh, people try to Canaanites say Canaanites are uh, the Average. son of Ham. Canaan, Canaan, but the artifacts, the artifacts, the artifacts, the artifacts don't even say that. I mean, well, they, they had just the say they, the they dig up artifacts and they have big noses. The Jews got big noses. Oh, the Hittites. I know what you're talking about, the Hittites. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Native well, American well, Indians got big noses. Well, that's because Esau uh, took a Hittite wife. Esau had sex. The Bible tells you Esau took a, a Canaanite wife. So he took on some of those features of the Canaanites, like the maybe he got the hook nose from the Hittites. Yeah. You know, that could be. Yeah. You know what I mean? But he gives you his own. 
Because Esau, the Esau was not supposed to take uh, a Canaanite wife, but he did anyway. You know what I mean? Pissed his parents off. Yeah, that pissed, that really pissed his parents off. All right, I got another question though, real quick. Uh, it was from actually from a friend. Uh, he states he said that well, all this stuff would happen. He said, well, why did God place the tree of knowledge in, in uh, Eden? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Tree of knowledge. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Tree of now, why would he do that and have all this, you know what I'm saying, have all this happen? Why, like, it would, he's saying it wouldn't have happened if he placed a tree. Why would he want to place a tree there just for that? Just so uh, Avenue you know that they probably will fuck with it because they had no knowledge at all until yeah. they ate the fruit. They had well, no knowledge that they were naked until they it ate the It was all predestined. Most high, it's just all part of the play. It's part of the story. You know what I mean? Most high set it up at the beginning so they would, he already knew that was going to happen. You know what I mean? But why, but why let that happen? If, if you know, it'd be, it, so, it'd so, be so, all too easy. So we just, so we pretty much, so we pretty much just, just little action figures out here. Exactly. We're, 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 we're playing we're in the theater. We in the theater. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're, we're in the theater. theater. Greek Greek yeah, what does right, the word right. theater mean? The word theater comes from the Greek word theos, theos. which yeah. means God. This ain't nothing but a big giant play. It's theater. Yeah. It's take a, it easy. All right, man. Yeah. This, one right, baddest, this is the baddest action movie that's ever been made. Right. With the good guys and bad guys. You know what I'm saying? And a cast of dumbasses. Yeah. Yeah. And a cast of dumbasses yeah. that's getting blasted, blown up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hey, hey, you, Bridge is falling on them and shit. Remember that movie, Action Jackson? High effects. <laughs> yeah, right, right. You know? You got the best uh, effects. IPad. Why are you wearing a pink shirt? Right. Breast cancer. You oh, got breast shit. cancer? You got breast cancer? <laughs> <laughs> That, see, they do that. That's why I was watching the NFL. Everybody was wearing goddamn pink gloves, pink shoes. That's, your, that's disgusting. Yeah, that's not for that, that, That's not for breast cancer. That's it's just putting bullshit. that that feminine vibe, that faggot vibration out there on TV. You know what I mean? Tight ass pants. Because you see some of them players weren't wearing the pink. I bet they was like, hell no, I ain't wearing that shit. But, I, not everybody. Like, was, whole teams wasn't doing that. Yeah, whole teams. I, not, not everybody in the NFL is a faggot. Most of them are. Yeah. Now, let's get back on point. Let me we never got our. We need to lose that yeah. now, this is Genesis 26 and 34. And Esau was 40 years old when he took to wife Judith, the daughter of Barry, the Hittite. The Hittite, see? So, like you said back in, they got archaeology to show those Hittites with a big ass nose. So, when you have sex with a heathen woman, you'll take on heathen characteristics. Like, you could have, like, that's how Israel got scattered, too. That's why we can't judge on appearance. Because you could have a black man have a sex with a white woman and a baby will come out light skinned and then that baby can have sex with another white woman and that baby will come out with damn blonde hair and blue eyes. You know what I mean? Yeah. So after time, they take on the characteristics of the other nation. That's just another way of the most high mold. It's just a play. I ain't seen that one. Let me, uh, let me read that to you. Let me go there. <laughs> Romans uh, 9. Oh my God, that's me. Where she going that? Yeah, she's talking about Jesus. Not Did you want to read that? Oh yeah, let's go ahead and bring that she's out. Uh, well, he brought, well, she's a fact yeah. about the disease. Yeah, of course. Of course, you about to get that. Oh, just no, don't worry about it. Just like, hey, we're gonna get back. We try to bring this up, uh, Ebola news out earlier. Talking about the two the grid. Well, he gonna read this article about Ebola. What side is that from? It says Ohio News. All right, just read aloud. All right, the headline is one person tested for the deadly Ebola, Ebola virus in Columbus. In Col we in Columbus, Ohio right now. Did y'all know the Ebola virus is in Columbus, Ohio? Uh, yeah. yeah, I don't care, do y'all. motherfucking hands. <laughs> All right, this is what it says. Columbus, please, Columbus Public Health confirmed a person is undergoing testing and has been quarantined for the deadly Ebola virus. Stroke person says they're working with the CDC to learn if the preliminary results are those of oh shit oh snap <laughs> my dog let's get back on track I'm sorry <laughs> I'll be right. clapping right now for this right now but I'm holding it right now. she gets scared because that's good news I'm sorry, I'm sorry, CDA I'm says a person Whatever. recently traveled to uh, West okay. Africa oh, where an the... outbreak has left all these people dead <laughs> so here it is. See, the government wants Ebola to spread. That's a government conspiracy. And ha most of y'all, two thirds of y'all gonna drop dead from Ebola, all right? That's gonna happen. Your children are gonna die in your arms. You know what I'm saying? Your, your little, your girlfriend, she gonna drop dead. You know what I'm saying? You gonna catch Ebola kissing your girlfriend. 
give you you give your grandma a hug and give your grandma a bowler. You know what I'm saying? That's what's happening. A lot of y'all gonna drop dead from diseases of Ebola. Uh, yeah, cause that, that's, we got Ebola patients right here in Columbus. Plus, I was reading on the news this morning, there's somebody with Ebola in Cleveland. And they shut down a few schools up in Cleveland, uh, up in Cleveland, Ohio. So I know Ebola's going to spread. They sure did, didn't they? Shut schools down. And, and, if, and if the government did not want Ebola to spread, they would stop all flights, flights yeah. from West Africa, from Liberia and all the other countries, man. But they're, they're not stopping it. I got somebody had a, 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 a called, I heard someone called Ebola at, uh, at my job at the Gap Warehouse, man. What? Yeah. He said someone, what? At the Gap Warehouse. Somebody this was heard that somebody came from Africa. They kept coughing and you know what I'm saying, got that shit. Fuck, I'm keeping it hush. They had a, they're keeping it hush right now just so it can spread. Yeah. Well, everybody complaining, how everybody heard about it. Everybody complaining now, man. So yeah, you gotta pray to the most high. You don't catch that shit. Don't be drinking a lot of pop. Drink oh, water, drink orange juice. You know when you drink a lot of pop, that makes your body acidic. All that acid, that breaks down your immune system. You want me to read the symptoms? Oh yeah, read the symptoms. The symptoms include Sudden onset of fever, intense weakness, muscle pain, headaches, so sore throat. This is followed by vomiting, diarrhea, rash, impaired kidney and liver function. In some cases, both internal and external bleeding. Yo, and they said, yeah, Ebola got over a 70% mortality rate. All right, so when that Ebola starts spreading, y'all gonna be dropping like damn flies. Didn't Ebola happen though back in like 1920s, 1930s? They had a movie. Years old. They had a movie. I remember it's 70. You ever see the movie they had on it back in the day? When uh, I think it was Outbreak. Outbreak. Oh, yeah. 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 Then it's, no. I know, uh, 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 Rain Man, wasn't it? The dude yeah, the dude played Rain Man. Uh, what's yeah. that, uh, motherfucker's name? What's the dude that played Rain Man? Dustin Hoffman. Yeah, ha Dustin Hoffman. Yeah. yeah, that's it. Yeah, so they've been pushing that shit in the movies, man. What do you think all them zombie movies are about? Thank you. That's what yeah, I'm I mean, trying to tell you. Yeah, they've been pushing that forever. Because every time you can realize uh, zombies are starting to be a real popular thing. Yeah, it's real, popular. Popular. Yeah, real popular. Yeah, real popular thing. Yeah, yeah. Because it was for a minute. You remember it was UFO movies was popular for a while. Yeah. Yeah. National disaster movies was very popular for a yeah. while. Yeah. So they know. Tell them. You see in The Walking Dead that uh, during the fourth season, at, at the end of the fourth season. The virus is airborne. Yeah, uh, yeah. They was, everybody was being quarantined. Yeah. But they yeah. said, in The Walking Dead, they said the whole population had it. Yeah, yeah. that's right. So yeah. if, yeah. if anybody had. dies, yeah. they come back everybody to life. Everybody had Even the pig died from whatever disease he was. They probably, hey, did you hear a dog got it? Dog, yeah, yeah. Excalibur they killed died. the dog. They killed the and dog. And if dogs catch dogs a bullet, the animals, they, they won't die. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, let me read this real quick, real quick, brother. This is Jeremiah 14 and 10. Thus said the Lord unto this people, thus have they loved to wander. They have not refrained their feet, their feet. Therefore the Lord doth not accept them. He will now remember their iniquity and visit their sins. He's talking about Israel. That's right. So, I mean, that, that Ebola virus, that's part of that. The Lord revisiting your sins. That's a wicked man's punishment. And we're going to laugh, too. When people start dropping dead, we're going to laugh. We're going to get some wine. Hey, <laughs> kids, you know, wine is something good to drink. This is one of the most pure things you can drink. Antioxidant. Yeah, because that water is going to be all polluted. Are you talking about processed wine? Are you talking about wine? Any wine. All wine. How do you know wine? I don't know wine. 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 There ain't no bad wine. If it's grapes, it is. The grapes will form this. It's going to form it. And whether it's bad grapes or not, you know? A cheap wine, good or expensive wine. Only a cheap wine is only a wine that has an age. That's all it is, you know? In some places, mass produce it quick. Why get it out in the market. But you don't think they don't they don't do that with alcohol or liquor? Yeah, yeah liquor the same thing. Yeah, that, so you might have people copping and bowling the damn food up in the city. Little children in Fox Day to work, working at the food factory. They coughing and shit all over the food. So I can see this shit spreading. Here you go. Then said the Lord unto me, pray not for this people for their good. So yeah, because people are y'all so hateful. The Lord said don't pray for these people. Don't pray for these people. When they fast, I would not hear their cry. This is the Lord. 
and when they offer burnt offering and of ob ob oblation, I will not accept them, but I will consume them by the sword and by the famine and by the pestilence. Oh, the sword, that goes back to the point of this only martial law out here. They already got martial law down in uh, St. Louis. AKA. So we ain't praying for them fools down in St. Louis. Either. Even though we glad to see people, the cops get fucked up. But Dan Page even mentioned that also in his, in his speech. He said, in order to start martial law, it has to be some like racial tension. Going racial on. tension like, mixed with the Ebola. Uh, racial, has to be something to do with racial killing. That's all part of dividing. the last days we in, man. Mm -hmm. You know, the Most High is waking all the evils. All the evils is waking right. Plus know? these devils, they they uh they stir that racial division up on purpose. That's part yeah, of divide and conquer. Law, yeah. You know what I mean? To keep everybody fighting against each other instead of fighting against the government. Yep. Whatever nightmare you can think of, put it on steroids. Like he said, he said, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's the last days. Like Dan Perry said they want you to it's gonna be a, The scripture huh? says there's going to be a cry in Egypt like never heard before. Yeah, this is you know? She asked what you reading from. Oh, but this is the Bible. How much money? What's the matter? King James? Uh, King James. Okay. I was just wondering. Okay. Why, uh, you know the Bible? Um, I, I do in parts. Um, I don't know. I, I used to, I used to date a guy for about two and a half years who really got into this stuff, so. I, I knew, I knew a lot about the Bible. What was he? What was he on? He was, in, he was non dominant and dominational. It was denominational, excuse me. Um, but, uh, yeah. He was, um. The people that he connected with, I think they were called like the. Well, we're Hebrew Israelites. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. I don't think I don't think he was. Was he a part of the nation of Islam? Or? I don't think so. That'd be I bad don't think news. So. Go Esau right there. He probably got a little virus in his pocket. Was it a black guy or what? Franklin and Lily walks. Yeah, they slick. Black guy. Some slick motherfuckers. You gotta think that unthinkable with Esau, man. That's how they do it, bro. You know how many viruses they got up in Ohio State? Man, they doing some just some sick, disturbing shit up in these laboratories, bro. That's what they is. That's that's uh. I know that they I seen it. That's what old man sees. Yeah. Yeah, it's working. Harvard. Every time I read an article. On Sunday, it's a, it's a well, university professor right, that's uh, handling it. They come up with a drug. Who do you think they're testing the drug? You can actually sign up and get paid. I see that on Craigslist and in the newspaper. They like you, you, get, you can get paid to be a take, lab rat? come up to Ohio State rat. and be that's a right. lab rat. Yeah. Sometimes the drugs have absolutely no effect on them. Sometimes you wake oh, up. Oh yeah, they be having that shit posted in the in, uh, uh, newspaper and everything. Yeah. I've seen that before. You know, uh, but, but you think they ain't doing anything at these universities? Oh, I'm sure they are. You I know? Mean, that's where it all starts. All that's where it all starts. Shit. What do you think butt plugging started at? That's a popular, <laughs> that's a popular tradition now. <laughs> butt plugging. Butt, butt chugging. Butt, butt chugging. Butt chugging. No, they plug it too. They plug it and chug it. Plugging is when you put drugs up your ass. And pouring alcohol in it because it, you know, it. Get I mean, I've heard of some strange shit, but I don't know. Oh, it's popular. Yeah, we, we had dudes come out here telling us about it. Tell about us about it. Bring it about it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah they soak tampons in, like, liquor and then stick it up their ass. Yeah. Like, butt yeah. chugging. Two uh, butt. Both of them two dudes that got ill stuck up their ass. Oh, right yeah, over they there. Died, they they sticking yeah. pills up each other's ass. Oh, my yeah, God. Yeah, that guy, he, yeah, he, <laughs> he died from that. And this is the American, yeah, this is America. Yeah, like soaking their tampons in alcohol. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's popular. Yeah, they do that. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. Because I mean, you know the the vaginal walls and the anal wall, it's the uh, it's the type of uh, the, the lining. It has uh, less lining, protecting lining. I, That's why it's so I, sensitive. I can't think of the, what's the name of it. But, you know, only they can only figure it out in these hospitals. Plus, look, you know? or just you know, personal experimentation. Personal, really yeah, really it's personal. But really, yeah, what it really goes, what it really, freaky America, man. It's freaky. But these colleges really, it goes back to like. That's why on every campus you got fraternities. Greek fraternities, because really all these, these colleges are essentially a bunch of devil worshippers. That's why if you want to advance in the society, you, you, you got to become a part of a Greek fraternity. If or not a Mason. Greek fraternity, you got to be a Freemason. Because you know the Greek fraternities, they sing uh, uh, praises to Apollo, Zeus, Aphrodite. Have you ever heard of uh, the Hippocratic Oath? To become a doctor, when you become a doctor, you got to take a Hippocratic Oath. And when you take this oath, you uh, you gotta swear allegiance to Apollo, Asclepius, and all the gods. What's the number one commandment? 
No, that's why I have no other guys. This is, has I mean, I'd say don't kill people, but no. you know, well, killing, killing, killing ain't a bad thing. Yeah, don't murder. I mean, murder okay, and killing is two really, different things. Yeah. Well, so if you, I, I completely uh, agree. Somebody raped or killed one of your children, and you go you murder one of your children, and you go kill them. You didn't perform an a, a, a unrighteous act. You went into, you know what I mean? You went into defending your child. I think that's all a matter of morality issues. Like it, it really all depends. Everybody has a different, different standard. Well, well, I'm telling you, there's a dark, oh, occultic, oh, evil agenda. Okay, devil worshippers control America. All right, that's a fact. You know, like the president of the United States is the auger. You know what an auger is? Explain. Okay, when a president becomes president, he becomes inaugurated. Now you look up the word auger, the auger was the high priest of ancient Rome, the high priest of Jupiter. That's why, what's Jupiter's symbol is the eagle. That's why when you look on the back of a dollar, there's an eagle. That's why the presidential seal is a symbol of an eagle. So you say that that's part of double worshiping. Well, what yeah, auger. of course. Okay. Well, why, why can't we, like, why isn't it just assimilation? Like, throughout the times, different yeah. cultures adopt different things. Why, just like modern well, day Christmas. Let me ask you a question. Why, when I go to elementary school, middle school, they teach me about Greek gods and goddesses? Me, personally, I learned about the Battle of Troy. I learned about Isis, Horus. Because the but, Battle of Troy actually happened. They actually found I agree. But, but, okay, Joshua actually lived. King David actually lived. But they do not teach the Bible in school. If you take a Bible to school, you get suspended. I know personally, I never learned any sort of mythological whatever's back in elementary school, but I knew that there were side classes back in high school that you could take studying different ancient mythologies and whatnot. Yeah. Do you believe that um, yeah, your beliefs should be taught as they are true or as just a side class of this is an option? No, this the Bible is the truth. Every every word in this Bible is true. It's supposed to be taught as a way of living. Because the way you're supposed to live. The real yeah. school. It's like a moral code. Right. Well, it's beyond just a moral code. You got the moral code. Well, Plus, even it's now, actual. I mean, if, even through assimilation, even if somebody is an atheist or agnostic, they still tend to follow the Ten Commandments minus. The well, God. the Bible speaks against assimilation. It says, "Learn not to get Jeremiah ten and one." The Bible totally speaks against assimilation. But that's that's how we progress. What is what is your idea of progression might be different than mine. If my if my idea is, of progression <laughs> is different than a lot of people around here. But what does progression <laughs> mean? To be a homosexual, to teach your kids that there's uh, no such thing as a family, to ha there's no such thing as a husband and wife anymore. That well, it's it's okay to. They take on the rules that they need to. Yeah, but now in America, though, everything is about destroying the family. There's an anti-family agenda. There's an anti-heterosexual agenda, okay? You're saying all these things that are happening, but you're not backing up anything. But that's progression. That's what the progressives the, are pushing, okay? Like the, the left-wing uh, lunatics. That's what they're pushing. The ideologies of a madman, they're saying it's okay to be a faggot. Faggots can get married. It's okay for a woman to have sex with as many uh, men as she wants. She can get a thousand divorces, and that's okay. Okay. Well, that's the same Ten thing. baby daddies. Shouldn't equality be for both sexes? Is that yeah, but no. No, no, no. Is it because women are a lower life form? No. no. There's order. It's all about order. Hey, uh, read Jeremiah 10 and 1. Jeremiah 10 and 1. Hear ye the word which the Lord speak, speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. So the Lord speaking to Israel, and Israel alone. Keep going. Thus says the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen. Learn not the ways of the heathen. So we're not supposed to follow What's the way. What's your definition of heathen? Uh, anybody who's not an Israelite, the ancient Egyptians, or heathens. How do you okay. know that that was their definition? Of I, I know that for a fact, because when you look that word heathen up, in the Hebrew, it says uh, goyim, and, well, which means a non-Israelite. So that would be a, a Canaanite, a Edomite, any non-Israelite nation is a heathen. Did you know that they actually, you know how, like it's the Virgin Mary, like she was a virgin. Yeah, she wasn't <laughs> she a virgin. Wasn't. No. They actually came up with a new translation. Virgin was actually mistranslated. It actually just meant pure. She was a good, pure person. Well, you'd be more correct saying something like that. Because the Bible, yeah, there's no virgin birth in the Bible. 
That, okay, that's part of that assimilation you was talking about. <laughs> it's the same thing with that. I mean, yeah, assimilation can be bad in some ways. It's very bad. It can be. Like, I personally, I celebrate Christmas just because my family does it. But I know it's also related to the birthday of Mithras and Persian mythology. And yeah, I find that stuff fascinating. But I don't know why I celebrate it because I'm not a part of that. Right, we don't Jesus celebrate Christmas. birthday was actually in spring. It right. had nothing to do with Christmas. It was just a simulation. But I don't really see an issue with that. I just see an issue with people celebrating things that they don't necessarily understand. Again, it's the it's first a, commandment. Yeah, first commandment. Because actually Christmas in reality, just like Halloween and Easter, what it is is a ritual. When you partake in Christmas and Easter Halloween, you're putting a, mm -hmm. uh, the energy into this mass ritual. Okay, and when everybody celebrates it, getting that certain Christmas spirit, it puts a certain vibration in the air. And they use all that, that, that the evil magicians and sorcerers, they use that energy for their ritual. Okay? Okay. You want, um, I'm going to go back to order. Okay, uh, this is 1 Corinthians 11 Be ye followers of me, even as I also am of the anointed. Says Christ. Yeah, Christ means the anointed. That's what Christ this, means, Christos. Now I praise you, brethren, that ye remember me in all things and keep the ordinance. Keep the ordinance, because everything is about order. Yeah, see, we live in a world of chaos and disorder, okay? Like there's even the saying, uh, order out of chaos, okay? Because America is uh, known as Great Babylon. And ba Babylon means confusion. This is the land of confusion. That's why they say the most confusing day in the hood is Father's Day. Okay? <laughs> so true, so true. As I deliver them to you, but I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. And the head of the woman is the man. The man, that's like you're supposed to call your husband Lord. So like, yes, my Lord. <laughs> Not, oh. my Are really? Not you sorry motherfucker. <laughs> so you believe that that's order then? That yeah, it keeps so things in line and you believe that that's, that's a system that you believe in? Well, look around you. That's why we're all slaves out here. That's why we have no freedom. That's why all of our rights are abused. We have no rights. Okay, we're just pretty much getting treated like cattle. Pretty much. That's why when you go, that's why when you have a job, it is order in the Bible. See, the Bible says when you pay tithes, well, the original government was the Levitical priesthood. And when you pay tithes, you only pay 10% of your earnings. But in America, how much do you pay when you get, uh, when you when you go to work, they take at least 40% of your check before you even get it. Yeah. So that goes against the ordinances, okay? And plus, if you say you get a credit card, you get a loan, any, any kind of financial transaction that you get with a bank, they charge you usury. They charge you interest. That's against the Bible. See, everything in this country is against the Bible. That's why there's no Sabbath in America. The Bible says- Saturday is actually the Sabbath. That's what That's no? the day of Saturn. Ah. What? The Bible uses a lunar calendar. You find what's the Sabbath? Show, no, no, hold up, hold up. Today is actually the Sabbath and- Show me where Saturday is in the Bible yeah, first. Tell me, show, uh, a Sabbath was Saturday. No, it's not. Saturday's not. The, what if, the, if, the, if the new moon falls on is Saturday, every day? yeah. Is it every day? No, no, no. it's whatever, whenever it's there's a new moon. Like the, the like, 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 like the first the check like the, the listen the, fir the first Sabbath is on a new moon and then you count seven days after that that's gonna be another Sabbath seven like on a full moon is usually a Sabbath too that's the 14th day so it all goes by according to the lunar cycle. Okay. 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 okay, that actually does make sense because quick, even the Greeks use it. Quick example. Right, everybody quick did. example. Every month you are. Uh, your period comes. The menstrual. Okay. The word menstrual comes from the word moon. When does it fall? Once so. <laughs> Even the word month comes from the word moon, you know? Okay. The word calendar goes that back to moon. I'm, I'm actually, I'm writing a musical. So, and it, it's it's dealing a lot with this. Huh. It, it's, it's based on the idea that religion isn't the problem, people are the problem. Yeah, but this ain't religion. So, we, ain't, we don't deal with religion. Scripture, religion, spirit, like, that's it's not the problem it's never been the problem it's how people use it well people yeah all people use this book to 
get money. Yeah, to get money. Exactly. Get Catholicism is a wonderful example of that because they've constantly been political. I haven't seen so many big ass packs. Pack. I know. Pack. Yeah, just, cause just, yeah, just because people can take the scriptures and twist them doesn't mean it's not true. The Catholic Bible is missing a five to probably more. That's why I asked you guys the Bible you were reading. Yeah, well, the King James, uh, the, the most people's King James Bible they have, it's missing books. Like our, uh, yeah, this is yeah, in the, the original, Africa. that was in the original King James. Do you guys James. also read the Dead Sea Scrolls? I mean, no. What's that? Dead Sea Scrolls is all fragments. God, God, it's all it. fragments. So you don't think it matters? I mean, it's good that it's good to study history, but but the, whoever wrote the Dead Sea Scrolls, they was going off. First of all, they lived in a secluded community, all by themselves, saying everybody else was wicked and the devil. And and see, the, the one you call Jesus, he would have been against that. Okay, they had all kind of purification rituals. Like, oh, the washing of the pots and they was making sure everything. When the Lord spoke against that in Mark the seventh chapter about uh, you follow the traditions of men, and he cursed out the scribes and Pharisees because they was all about washing the pots this many times, going through purification rituals, making up new laws. 